Bruce Bauer. I'm a scientist here with NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration here in Boulder, Colorado. I manage data in the field of paleoclimatology, which is information that is used to study past climate change. We use things like tree rings, um, ice core studies, ocean sediments, things that can tell us about how climate has changed in the past. I got interested in geology when I was young. Um, I grew up in the area of upstate New York. Interest, our outdoors people, and that's how you got interested in you climb around in the mountains and the canyons and you wonder how it got to look like that. So I studied geology when I was in college. Coral heads will grow annual rings in much the same way. A tree will. Ice core tells us it has bubbles of air so we can get samples of the atmosphere from thousands of years ago. And we can also melt the ice and measure the isotopes of both oxygen and hydrogen within the water. And those isotopes are dependent on the temperature at which the ice was deposited. So, this so far we've been looking at laboratory samples and we've seen different clues in the natural environment that we can use to understand how climate has changed in the past. Now we're going to go outside and show how we actually collect some of the living samples from living trees that we can use for laboratory analysis. All right, so let's go see how we take a core from a tree. This is a ponderosa pine tree. It's the dominant species along the front range in Colorado. We use the increment borer and actually take a core from the tree. Um, and the way we do that is with the increment borer. It's a hollow hand drill. Simply drill it into the trunk of the tree and then we will extract the core and see what the tree can tell us about its weather history. So I'm just going to place the drill in the furrow of the bark and try to enter, aim it towards the center of the trunk in order to get the most number of rings possible and then simply drill into the tree trunk. Okay, just by eyeballing this, I think I've probably reached the center a little bit beyond. So, we should have sampled every ring in the tree. Now I'll use the other part of the tool, the spoon, to actually extract the core itself from the borer apparel. So I'll slide the spoon in underneath the core and it grabs onto the the wood that's within the barrel. Then when I start to back the, the tool out of the tree, it causes the core to be broken free. And then we can extract the core from the barrel. And so this is the way we sample trees. It's made a wound in the trunk but a healthy tree will heal that wound pretty quickly, fill the hole with pitch, and the tree won't suffer any long-term term consequences. Then we can return this core to the laboratory, mount it to keep it from breaking, and then sand it down and we'll be able to measure its rings and see how well it's grown during its lifetime. No, I have, I have no reason to expect the world to end in two years. I, I'm a geologist, so I know the Earth's been here for billions of years, and um, you know, people have only been here in the last few seconds of geologic time. And I don't think the Earth really cares about what we're doing. She's going to go on and do whatever it is she does for billions of more years, whether we're here or not.